Hi, Oli. Congratulations Hi. through the semi-finals. Um, how would you define that performance today? Excellent performance from the beginning. Uh, I thought we should have been one or two goals up at least. Um, and uh, so the first 25, 30 minutes, we put, put them under pressure. We're in the, their box, created loads of chances. Then again, you always know that uh, it's going to be uh, difficult against Everton. And they uh, they pegged us back a little bit in the from the, the last 15 minutes of the first half. And... Uh, but we defended well. Second half, I thought we it was a tight game, but we had a little upper hand. And then when it opens up and the, the spaces appear, we uh, we did really well. Nine changes. Do you see this Manchester United team getting victory through versatility now? Of course, we're we're happy with the with the squad at the moment. We're doing the, let's just have a little look here now. We Man City in the in the semis. So uh, that's <laughs> going to be a big game. Congratulations. <laughs> Hi, Ollie, um, congratulations. You mentioned the draws being made as the Manchester derby. Do you feel that your squad are better equipped when it comes to belief and the way they're playing to go that one step further this season in this competition? Yeah, well, we've uh, we've had three semi-finals last year, of course, and uh, it's a it's, uh, it's a step to uh, not not uh, far enough, and uh, this year, again as last year, we we play them in the semis. So uh, let's see where we how we fare. In, in his last couple of performances, or three or four performances, are we seeing the difference that belief and confidence makes to good players? Oh, well, you know we've got a big squad. We we trust them. Uh, every time you win a game, you get energy and bo it bo boosts your morale and uh, uh, belief. So uh, tonight we play Wednesday night. We have twelve thirty again on Saturday. Not happy with that one, of course. But uh, the energy that we get from winning and going through is uh, hopefully going to make up for it. Amy Johnson. Nope. Hello, Ollie. Can you hear me? It's Damien Johnson at PLP. Yeah. yeah. How would you sum up the mood in the camp? It, it must be buoyant going into a busy period in the next few few days and weeks. Yeah, of course. The results uh, breeds uh, good spirit and a uh, good mood, and it breeds confidence. So, of course, we're confident. We are fit. Uh, you can see the longer the game lasts, you know, we, uh, we grow, uh, I feel. Uh, big difference from the beginning of the season. So, um, we are in a good place at the moment, uh, but then we don't get too carried away because we know it's a, every game is a cup final. It's going to be that type of season that is going to be so tight. So we'll uh, we'll uh, keep our feet uh, well on the ground and just work hard, try to improve. Hi, Ollie. Um, we saw Donny was played in a slightly different um, position this evening. I just wondered what you made of his performance and are we likely to see him played out on that left side a bit more often? Yeah, yeah you know, we, uh, we, he's one of those clever players that can move, move into space, find space. Um, same as Bruno, to be fair. And uh, the two of them, we wanted them in between the lines to get on the ball. And he linked the play really well for us. And uh, I thought he did uh, well. Hi, Ollie. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. Uh, Cavani's had a bit of a slow start to his career at United, and uh, obviously you, you've made a few comments about maybe you not putting away enough chances. You know, you said on Sunday you could have had twelve instead of six. I just wonder: is Cavani possibly, you know, given his goal-scoring record throughout his career, is Cavani possibly an answer to that lack of productivity? I think you're wrong. I don't think he's had a slow start. I think he's done really well. I, I think he's been excellent. He's obviously he's been injured. Uh, anyone can be injured. He came late, so I'm really pleased with his uh, 
influence in the dressing room, his habits that he brings to training, uh, his attitude to, to the game. You can see how well he, he looks after himself. He scored some very important goals for us and he gives us experience and he, he gives a lot. So um, he's just going to be here, uh, uh, be better and better, of course, because he was out for seven months and we've been patient with him, but uh, I, I think he's made a, a, a big impact. Hi Ollie, can you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Um, you obviously put Paul Pogba back in the side tonight. There's obviously been a lot of talk about him, but what did you make of his performance and his performances in general in the past few weeks? Paul is getting fitter and fitter, and that that's the biggest thing with Paul because uh, his uh, his last uh, year and a half been marred with uh, injury and COVID, and so another injury uh, a few. Uh, in the national break, so very pleased with his performance. Very pleased with his uh, his contribution to the team. He's uh, he's playing better and better, and probably will just improve and improve. Okay, 